Let's take a look at the user interface in PowerPoint 2013. It should look pretty familiar to you if you're a user of PowerPoint 2010, but there have been some significant changes. Let's uh, take a look at starting at the top left of the screen. There's the quick access toolbar up there. And uh, once again, you can easily add commands to the toolbar by right clicking them and choosing add to quick access toolbar. And if they're on the toolbar and you don't want them, you can right click and remove from quick access toolbar. And you can, as always, customize the quick access toolbar by clicking the more commands and reorder them or add other commands from a dialog box too. Nothing really new about that. Uh, at the very middle of the top is the name of the presentation uh, that you're working on. And over on the right hand side are some uh, the help button and this is a new command the um, ribbon uh, display properties and you can choose to auto hide the ribbon and you can see uh, it's very much like auto hiding the taskbar in Windows now I have to move my cursor up to the very top of the screen to get the ribbon back or you can choose to show tabs only eliminate all of those ribbon uh, commands and just see the tabs and click them when you need them that sort of thing or you can show the tabs command tabs and commands okay now a shortcut for doing that is just double click any tab and you will see the tabs only double click again and that will bring the full ribbon back uh, you probably knew that but perhaps not and then uh, on the very upper right there's the standard windows control uh, minimize, maximize, and close commands. Now let's take a look at the very bottom of the screen. This has changed a little more. There's a um, slide number counter there. That's the same as in PowerPoint 2010, but there used to be a little box down here that named the theme that you were using in PowerPoint. That no longer exists. Now there's a shortcut to the spell checker down here. It used to be a normal view in PowerPoint that there would be a note, a speaker's notes pane at the very bottom underneath the slide pane. Uh, now we can toggle on or toggle off the speaker's notes panes. I think Microsoft found that a lot of people creating presentations didn't really use speaker's notes, although it's a good idea to do that. Uh, so they left it off by default, allowing you to turn it on and off. It saves you a little screen space too, which is a nice feature. There's a new comments uh, toggle here. If I click it, it will toggle on the comments pane on the right hand side. And you'll find that PowerPoint 2013 uses panes quite a bit um, rather than dialog boxes. And that is uh, usually uh, most useful for people collaborating on PowerPoint presentations. Various members of the team can make their comments and you can read them uh, over on the right in the comments pane, but you can leave reminders to yourself there too throughout the presentation. Now we have the old, excuse me, we have the old view shortcuts here. We're in normal view now. We can switch quickly to slide sorter view, or we can go to slide show view. Uh, there is a new view shortcut here called the reading view. And I'm not really, I don't really get this one. I can read through my PowerPoint but I'm not sure how it varies uh, too much from the old slideshow view. So um, take that for what it's worth. The reading pane, I think it really is there to keep it consistent with Word because Word has a very useful reading pane. Not sure it's that useful in PowerPoint. Next to the slideshow view shortcut, uh, by the way, I've always thought that these view shortcuts on the status bar were the most useful shortcuts in PowerPoint which is why they made them so small and hard to see. <laughs> anyway, next to the slideshow uh, view shortcut is the zoom bar, and you can zoom the slide pane down or up uh, by sliding it one way or the other. If you have it uh, slid down, you can click the fit to window shortcut here and bring it back to full size. So that's a whirlwind tour of the normal view user interface layout. Now let's talk about the ribbon a little bit. Let me go ahead and select an element down here on my slide. Um, and you can see it still uses the old dialog launcher approach. Here's one for the font commands. 
and here's the one for the paragraph commands brings up a dialog box and then there's uh, some changes that you can make within the dialog box that's all standard uh, windows and office fare and uh, as I say it's the same tabs but some of the command groups have changed let's click the insert tab and now uh, notice that you can not only insert pictures but insert online pictures and let me click that command here's the dialog box and this is very much improved if you'll remember the old insert picture or insert clip art um, tools in PowerPoint 2010 they're very crude compared to this one uh, here you can search on office.com for your uh, clip art or photos or whatever it is you want from office.com they have a really huge selection or you can do a Bing image search and what's really nice about the Bing image search is by default it returns only Creative Commons licensed wor artwork and then once uh, you find uh, I'll, I'll show you right right now real quick once you find what you're looking for you can have the choice of showing all web, web, web results pardon me show all web results instead of just Creative Commons licensed web results okay and then you can search your SkyDrive, which is also online, and uh, it's an encouragement to save your pictures there, and search your Facebook pictures or Flickr pictures. So it's a much improved, more powerful insert online picture uh, command. Also, there's a new Apps for Office command here, and Apps for Office are apps that you can download from office.com. Some are for pay, uh, some are free. Uh, moving over to the design tab there's a new variants gallery uh, I'm using the Berlin theme right now and these are the four variants with Berlin and moved front and center here is a new slide size command this one used to hide out on the page layout uh, view you could always change your uh, aspect ratio but now since they've changed the default aspect ratio to 16 by 9 um, I think they're believing that many people will have 4 by 3 standard presentations who want to convert them to 16 by 9 and this will be the easy way to do it right here. Okay, the other tabs are uh, pretty much the same as they have been. They've, some of the things have been rearranged and they're improved. As I said earlier, however, uh, what's really different is many of the things that used to come up as dialog boxes now come up as task panes on the right of the screen. For example, when I right click the slide itself and choose to format the background, I used to get a format background dialog box that was fairly complex uh, to work with. Now what I get is a format background task pane over here. And it's just rearranged, it takes fewer clicks, it's a bit easier to understand, if I can say that about something that's um, pretty complex and includes quite a few choices. Uh, but the pain approach is what Microsoft is taking now rather than the uh, old dialog box approach. If I want to format a shape, I get a format shape pane here, you see. And um, let's go ahead and go to our slide number two here. If I decide that I want to format a chart, I get a format plot area command here. And uh, by the way, let me point out these new tools here for formatting charts. Uh, these are really a terrific improvement. I can click this little plus icon to decide if I want the axes, axis titles, uh, chart titles, and so on. I can change all of my, uh, my formatting elements on the chart on this simple little pop-out box. That's a huge uh, innovation. I can also change the style of my chart here with a couple clicks and I can filter the data on my chart right from this little tool uh, a great innovation let's move down here to a slide that has a picture on it if I select a picture you'll see I still get the same old context sensitive tabs at the top the picture tools tab and if I click on format I can format things here but I also get a picture format picture pane up on the right hand side of the screen to add many other effects so it's um, a really nice improvement I think as you can see there are still dialog launchers so Microsoft hasn't completely uh, moved everything to task panes on the right of the screen but I think they're moving in that direction 
Okay, this has been a, a little bit longer video. It has covered the major uh, improvements in the user interface in PowerPoint 2013. I hope you like them and hope you use them a lot. Mm -hmm.